Doug from Poor Barn Production made a bowl called Midnight Gold and it gave me an idea because on his bowl there is on one side there is resin on the other side there is wood and from there came this idea of mine. I'll put a link in my description. I had another piece of uh, chestnut uh, wood that it's cracked and what I done is I glued it together in, into the vessel and now I'm putting it in an angle in the pressure pot so the, the, the purple one will sit on one side only and now I'm going to turn it in the, in the same angle for the other side and I'm putting a blue midnight blue um, on the other side so one side I have a purple one side I have midnight blue and I'll put it again in a pressure pot for overnight and I will when it comes out of the pressure pot of the second the third second time I'm going to clean it put it in the center and I'll put um, midnight gold in um, two layers of midnight gold in a little bit different sh uh, shadow of um, gold uh, one light and one a little bit darker and that will be my mold that's sorry that will be my my wood and resin base now that i have the blank i'm going to drill in the center i'm going to drill um, a 53 millimeter um, hole and that will create um, recess and i will center it and our first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to um, square it and create the back the base of the ball slowly slowly the plan is on this ball to have a wide base and then i'm going to do a recess a wide recess so I can I will use the big chuck that I've got for the recess and uh, no lines in the middle Ju yeah 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 you you won't believe the amount of uh, resin and wood that flies on this on this uh, project I don't know why I had to rep I had to change twice the direction of the position of the camera um, the whole place from the ceiling to the bottom was full with resin shavings and wood shavings uh, and I didn't work on a high speed either You can see how it's flying all over it. it in one stage the camera was blocked I didn't see it I saw it only too late and that's how I look with the three multicolor uh, Halloween I'm going to um, square it at the bottom flat it down and then i'm going to create the space for my um, for my logo um, and then i will start working on the the corners of the base um, of the recess what i'm going to do i'm going to use the, the v-shape tool from uh, black line and i'm going to go into the corners so i'll have a little bit of a step in a step so the re the chuck will be able to to grab it better because it's going to resist when it opens it will grab it better i'm increasing the speed a little bit and then our machine down and then i'll uh, machine it down with a v-shape and a slight angle and really really you don't need a lot of uh, sandpaper after that i'm getting quite a lot of um, um, fiber coming up so i decided to put um, wood sealer it's a cellulite wood sealer and um, then i'll sandpaper it from a from a th uh, number 60 uh, all the way down to um, 600 the 60 with by hand and then 
the 150 uh, all the way to 600 I'm going to use it with uh, on um, on the drill after I sent it down and I cleaned it up with a little bit of alcohol I'm starting with the um, Yorkshire grid uh, and when I'll finish with the Yorkshire grid I'll put oh, I, I, I wasn't sure at the beginning what I'm going to do but I decided to try on on, on this wood I decided to try Obishan juice um, on the chestnut and it actually came out quite quite all right yeah uh, not the same shine that I'm getting on harder woods but it came out quite all right I'm turning I'm turning it around and you already can see at this stage um, the three colors that I poured in playing in between At this stage, I really don't know what happened. I, I changed the direction of the camera, and for some reason or another, I start getting like the lines of the neon that I never had before. I'm, sometimes I'm getting a little bit of lines, and I don't know why. Um, now I'm starting to uh, hollow it slowly, slowly. I'm not going to make this uh, ball too thin. I'm going to leave it about 10 millimeters wide um, with a little bit of a heavy base uh, and um, uh, the base will be about 13 to 14 millimeters and the side wall will be about 10 millimeters. I'm using, of course, um, the round, uh, the round carbide from um, Blackline Tools, and um, it, it's doing its job very nice, very easy, um, and I'm quite happy with it. The last final strokes, and then. I'm going to put also on the inside. I'm going to put uh, a wood sealer, the cellulite wood sealer, just to be on the safe side. And after that, I'm going to start sandpapering it. And, um, and when I'll finish sandpaper the sides, only then I'm going to remove the the center. I will allow the the stock, the tail stock, to um, support it till the last minute. The same procedure, um, 150 all the way to 600 and um, when it's done finished then I will, uh, whoops, just flow away, uh, I will take off the center.
using the diamond shape um, tool from black line to remove the, the center. I'm going to use the round carbine tool, but I'll have to use it very, very careful because now I don't have a support anymore of the tailstock, so I'll have to be very, very careful how I'm doing it. I'm not, I'm not supposed to put any uh, pressure, any hard strokes, very soft strokes. Uh, I don't want it to come out of the because it's got a very small holding space in the back on, on the recess. It's a very thin recess. And I don't want to put too much pressure on it, so I don't want it to crack. So I have to be very careful here. The same thing all over again in the center. I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, if you do, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell so you'll not be notified when a new one is coming and like my channel and put comments at the bottom and I'll see you on my next video.